Next tonight, more on the groundbreaking research in the East Midlands, which it's hoped will help in the war against superbugs. Experts at the University of Leicester have developed an alternative to antibiotics for treating pigs with infection, and it's hoped that it'll have spin-offs for human health. Well, let's go live now to the university. Our health correspondent, Rob Sissons, is there for us. Looking very much the part, Rob. Good evening to you. Um, what's the real significance of this work, then? <laughs> Yes, on any excuse to dress up. Well, um, this is what all the fuss is about. These are what are called phages, which is powdered viruses that are used to infect bacteria. Now, why is this so important? Well, we all know about superbugs. We've got some images of them here. And the increasing resistance that they have when it comes to responding to antibiotics, which is why they're doing this important work at the University of Leicester. They've been working on it for a couple of years. Let's chat to uh, Martha Clokey. You're clutching something very interesting here that's all to do with this, aren't you? Yeah, yeah here we can see a covering of bacteria on, on this uh, on this bit. These speckles. Yeah, these speckles. Each speckle is where a virus has gone in and it's killed that bacteria. So wow. It's representing bacterial death. So you can see our viruses. So you want to try that. this on animals? So you, yeah. you've developed some pig feed that you want to use it on. That's right. Well, we're developing it at the moment. The first thing we did was show that we've got viruses that kill the right bacteria that we want to remove that make pigs sick. And um, the next thing is to show... That can they actually be applied? Why to... pick on pigs? <laughs> well, pigs, just like any um, other animals, they are susceptible to bacterial diseases, and the farmers are trying to use less antibiotics because they're uh, to, to stop the build-up of antibiotic resistance or in, in their pigs. But they still need to be able to treat their animals when they're sick. Because so... we know that 40% of antibiotic use yeah. in the UK is on animals. And just as humans are being told, as patients yeah. were being told, don't have antibi antibiotics unnecessarily, there's concern about overuse in the farming industry. That's right. So if we can actually stem the usage in the farming industry and treat the animals in a different way, we can prevent the build-up of antibiotic-resistant bacteria in the first place, which means we can preserve antibiotics for, for humans. So if we can lessen that build-up in the first place. Let's chat to Kit briefly here, another member of the, the team. Uh, you're very excited about this. You've already shown something in the lab that you're uh, fascinated by. Yeah, basically I've been working on testing the stability of these phages at different temperatures, and I've learned that you can pretty much boil them and they're still active. So that'll be... That's uh, a good sign. Yeah, that means they'll be able to resist the high temperatures when they are incorporated into the pig food. So next step yeah. is on the farm, and all being well, if they get the funding, they hope to be doing that later this year. Great for the East Midlands, this research. Indeed it is, Rob. Thanks very much indeed.